What's going on YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be and welcome to Final Gear. This is a brand new now. Is it FG really a brand new hero collector? Or are you just now finally getting around to it? Late FG. <laughs> you right, you right, you right. I don't like that nickname, but <laughs> you, you ain't wrong. So here we are, a brand new hero collector, mechs and waifus. What is not to like about that combination, my friends? Uh, you know, I really don't like it. <laughs> I really don't like it. Now, it's not to say that this game is bad. That is not what I'm saying. I am just saying that this game is not for me, but I am sure it will find its target audience. I, FG, just won't be in that audience clapping and lighting my lighters. I will be in a different concert altogether. Call me princess. I'm in a different castle concert you know what i mean it was dumb but i had i i felt it and i just went with it you know what i mean so here's a look at some of the waifus that you will collect and of course like i mentioned before they all have their mechs as well and my favorite part about this game is the fact that the equipment that you equip on your mechs actually shows up in combat so i'll show you what that looks like a little bit later this is my favorite waifu she's like the lowest rarity but she got a yo-yo Yo, man, these jokes are terrible, <laughs> but I'm going to keep on throwing them out. One of them will eventually stick. So let's just go ahead and jump into combat so I can show you what this all looks like. And this is the part where it kind of starts to lose me, right? So here is the breakdown. It looks very familiar to like Girls Frontline or to a much lesser degree like Azir Lane, where you actually have to kind of field an operation, like you were a commander fielding an operation, and I know why they did that, I totally get it. I just, for me, it doesn't make the game better, in my opinion, but some people out there are gonna absolutely love this, right? So let's go ahead and set it up. I got two teams, team one, team two, here they are. I got these two blue bases that I need to protect, and I'm gonna try to take over this red base. Here are some enemies that are gonna try to make my life a little bit more difficult. So, let's enter a battle. I'm gonna hit pause as fast as I can, but I wasn't fast enough, so we're in combat. Here we go. <laughs> Not what I had planned, but we gonna do it. Um, like I said before, my favorite part about this game outside of the mechs and the waifus is the mechs that actually have customizable parts, right? So like the chest piece, um, the wheels, the weapons, all of those things, what you see is what you get. So if you pull out this really unique looking sword out of the gacha, you throw it on your mech, it actually shows up. That is pretty awesome, right? So that, I can't take that away from the game. I think that is pretty compelling. Where the game, like I said, loses me is the whole, like I said, oh man, I'm gonna get attacked from like all sides on this video. This whole girls frontline operations kind of campaign style flow, that's where it kind of loses me. I'm just not really into it. Now I know why the developer went with what they went with because they didn't want this game to feel like a generic campaign stage-based hero collector you see a thousand times before where you go from stage to stage to stage, three star in each one. They did not want it to feel like that, right? So with that being said, they accomplished what they wanted to accomplish, right? You feel like you were a commander running operations. I respect it. I totally get what they're going for. All I'm saying was, all I'm saying is, I just don't like it as a minute-to-minute -minute main gameplay flow, if that makes sense, right? So let's keep going. So like I said, I wanna protect these bases, right? So I'm gonna take my team one and I wanna go ahead and infiltrate their base over here by defeating this enemy and then taking over this King of the Hill style. Um, I'm gonna keep team two here for, for now, just to kind of keep them here because I'm sure there's nothing on the map just at the moment, but something's gonna spawn and try to take my base over. So that, that's pretty much a given. Unpause it, send my little team over there. Oh, up, 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 pause, pause. Um, I got team two here. Intercept them, y'all go there, put it on times four speed, unpause, and then here we go. You get this whole JRPG little twirly twirl loading screen. You go back into combat, three waves of enemies once again, and you kind of do that to protect your mission, whether it's to defend a base, whether it's an escort mission, yes, this game has escort missions, or attacking bases, things of that nature. And I don't know, man, it just kind of feels, it feels kind of slow and bogged down in my opinion. Um, there's this one stage that I just did right before this video. I had about nine encounters on the stage. So that's nine encounters, right? All, each one of those encounters had three waves a pop. Each one of those encounters had uh, a victory screen, a loot screen, a loading screen. Like, it's a lot of stuff that goes on. I think what they could do to kind of minimize how slow and sluggish the campaign um, flow feels I would say save the loot to the very end. Like, I don't understand why the game has to have loot every single encounter. Like, just save the loot at the very, very end. That would save on a ton of different loading screens. That would kind of speed it up just a little bit. But 
at the end of the day, it's still going to feel the way it feels. So if you're not really into it, that's going to be a pretty much an instant deal breaker for this game. Um, a lot of people in my Discord said they played like the first couple of stages and they were done with it, <laughs> which not very encouraging. Not very encouraging. All right, pause it again. There's another one coming over here. So, like this whole twirly, you load, you go through three waves, you do it again. I don't know, man. I Like I said, I understand why they did it and I fully respect it. I do respect it. It's just not for me. It's just really not for me. The mechs, though, look so awesome. Very cool. Look at this. She has this, so there are unique mechs in this game as well. So this little white one that you see running around here, um, she is unique. She has her own little anime cut sequence when she attacks and everything, when her ultimate builds up. We'll eventually see it. Or we might have already seen it. I just was probably just rambling on. So, you know, I digress. But here we go, just kind of going through. I haven't really played the game on manual much. You guys know my whole MO. I only play games on manual when they give you a reason to, and I haven't really had a reason to min-max my moves in a way where I had to use manual combat, um, but it is available. So for whatever it's worth, there you go. Mission clear, experience points, next step, loot, next step. See, you know what I mean? Like I feel, oh, no, 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 wait a minute. Pause the game. Look at this dude taking over my base. Go over there. You can stand right here. Just kind of block that off. And here we go. Another loading, another JRPG twirly twirl, and more three waves of combat. Like, I don't know, man. Like I said, maybe I'm making a big deal out of it. I've been known to do such things. It's just, I didn't, I didn't really enjoy it. I'm not really enjoying it. I love the waifus, though. I still think we are way overdue for a good mech game. You got one in your face, FG. Do I, though? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I could. <laughs> I'm going to pretend like I can't see that. Here we go. Kind of flow through. I do like some of the ultimates, though. Very cool. All the characters thus far, including the low rarity ones that I showed you earlier in the video, are actually pretty well done. It's almost like some of the low tier characters in this game would be like SSR is another game. So shout out to them on that. Really good designs. Some of the loading screens, make sure your mom don't walk in your room with you. All right. Be, be, be sure. Your mom, your girlfriend, your sister, your auntie. All right. Some of the loading screens are a little risque to say the least. Um, but shout out to this game for, you know, not caving into the whole censorship thing that we get time and time again here in the global uh, audience. Down you go. And I really wanted to do what I'm doing right now is to show you the entire flow of this little operation that I'm going through. Oh, look at this guy. How dare he come in his own base like that? I'm gonna go over here. That way I can kind of take this back to blue and then go over here. Here we go, loading, JRPG twirly twirl, start, three waves of combat, here we go. And the like the game does, like in, maybe it's just me once again, um, but the game does have quite a bit of automated gameplay when it comes to the combat, but you really can't, you really can't walk away or anything like that, right? It's not one of those hands off auto plays. So it's kind of like, yeah, it's auto, but you do have to manually kind of control your troops. But I think the thing that you do manually is the least fun part of it. <laughs> like, I don't I don't feel like just kind of managing my little um, profile portraits across the map is the fun part. So the thing that you have to do manual in this game, I feel, is the least fun aspect of the game, which is a little unfortunate. I like this, though. Look at this. Pretty cool how you can make, like, a mech look like a cleric, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, here it is! Yeah! Down you go. You get her for free. Shout out to Final Gear. Mission clear, a little bit of experience points, a little bit of loot, back to the screen, hit pause. Couldn't press pause fast enough, that's okay. Back into some combat, three waves of combat, JRPG twirly twirl, back in, parachute in, and away you go. And this is as fast as it can go as well. There's no like, there's times two and times four speed on the, the operations map, but not in the actual gameplay itself. So this is pretty much it here. Um, outside of that, you know, you have a, f a few different formations here. Uh, I'm just kind of using the straightforward formation where it's just like attack. Um, you have this one here, which kind of spreads people out. And you have this one here, which is more evasive. Um, but that's pretty much it. If I want to take it off auto, I'll just do it for a second. Hear me, here I am just moving my little, little mech around. And then here is my little attack. Um, if you're playing on emulator, it's a little awkward. If you're playing on your phone, I could see maybe. Um, but for emulator, it's just a little awkward. There we go, a little backstab action. 
her attack is pretty awesome. Like, that's that's pretty cool. <laughs> I like that. All those, like, hands that come out of nowhere. Very cool. Easily one of the coolest characters um, that I've received thus far. Hit pause again. Here's a big boss over here. Looks like you're good here. Once again, unpause. Go at it. Boss encounter. Is it going to be three waves and a boss, or is it going to be just a boss? Four waves. Oh, boy. And here we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm yeah. <laughs> not not for me, unfortunately. Cool aesthetic though. Cool setting. Cool aesthetic. But this one's gonna get a question mark from FG. Um, I will show you some more of the gameplay here, as far as the gameplay modes. Um, but I'm not gonna show any more actual like gameplay combat in this video. And then of course we'll see if we can do a summon. I'll see if I have any currency left over. Um, the game does have an infinite reroll though. So if you're looking for a specific SSR character, you can kind of infinitely re-roll that. Um, but then there's also an SSR ticket waiting for you as well in your mailbox. So pretty giving game when it comes to that. You should be able to find and put together a squad that um, has a nice collection of waifus that you're into, no problem. Here we go, and we gotta wait for you to come over here, come on. Look at her with her little kitty shield. The end is here, or this ends here. Can't even read three words. <laughs> All of our ultimates queued up. Destruction. Esmeralda, you picked the wrong squad. I do like a little kitty shield, though. And a little paw prints on the side. That's cute. Art, fantastic. No beef with the art whatsoever. Got bootleg Sakura there going at it. Got one more life bar. And down... Yeah, go. Don't sound too enthusiastic, FG. I mean, this is cool. A little Mozart action. <laughs> and down you go. There you go. So that's combat here in the world of Final Gear. Just one stage. That, that was it. Almost. Oh, wait a minute. Take over. Take over. And there you go. That was one stage. Done and done. There you have it. But like I said, if you really kind of like that whole girls frontline kind of vibe, you're, you're probably gonna be like, yeah, this is just fine. This is totally, oh, what did I just unlock? What did I just unlock here? Forum mode, what is, oh, what the? <laughs> Dude, you got me on some bootleg video version of Reddit? <laughs> um, but that's that. So outside of that, you do have daily missions here. So you have supplies, it's conflict zone, which, which is kind of like this score attack mode where you're just trying to do as much damage as you possibly can to this little this little character here. Like she's really a tiny little uh, adversary and you're trying to beat up her, beat her up with these big giant mechs, which is kind of cute. Um, outside of that, what do you have? Combat training that opens up later, supply prep. And then there are some events as well. Um, so you got this nice little summer event. Um, you have a personal story for Evelyn, which gets you more pieces to her special little mech there. Um, but that's pretty much the game, right? Story missions, daily resource, uh, daily resource grinds, and events. That's pretty much what we have there. And this little Reddit that I don't wanna go ahead and click on, but it's over there as well. Um, let's go over here to recruit. See if we can't get anything good out here. Can I just like, do I have these? Do I have enough currency to buy these? Yeah, it looks good to me. Oh, look at this, we got an SSR. Already, uh, do I already have her? Oh no, she's a striker. Cool, cool. Superior rare. Very Azure Lane feeling. I feel like what? Bismarck there? Gives me a Bismarck vibe. I probably got that wrong. <laughs> Don't come for me. Very cool. Hexel, like this. Very like I said, even the lower tier characters look really good. The artwork is stellar. Look at this. This is just a normal rarity character. Looks really good. So there you go. Easy little recruit there. Let's go back over here to the hangar, and then I can kind of show you. Um, let's use let's use you for example. Uh, I don't know if I have any. Uh, yeah, I think I should. So check it out. Got this basic cannon. If I want to give her this axe, look at this. Look at this. An axe. <laughs> That's awesome, right? I can't can't dispute that. That is pretty darn awesome. If I want to change my chest piece, doo -doo -doo, very cool there. Um, all these legs look kind of similar, but let's just do it for the sake of sake of the YouTube. A little back piece there. Look at that. Throw that on the back. <laughs> that is cool, right? Or just hit auto equip and it uh, grabs all the best equipment there. Um, so far, 
Um, I have two teams, but you can see here it goes up to four separate teams. So that's kind of one thing I do like about the game. Um, it gives you a reason to have multiple squads and multiple, you know, of your favorite waifus powered up. This character right over here literally brings a magic book. Like she's casting spells in a mech. I guess you love to see. Um, if I want, I can change out this pilot and grab that new pilot that we just got. Looking pretty good. Hit her up with the uh, auto equip. And there she goes in her little tank style mech, as you see there. Um, but that's it, guys. That is Final Gear. Like I said, I don't think it's a bad game, definitely. Um, it's just not something I... I just didn't find myself enjoying the minute-to-minute -minute gameplay. What is this little... What, what is this thing? Is this tried and true dispatch mode? Oh, it is tried and true dispatch mode, but they made it look like a, like a Reddit screen. What else are you showing me here? Hall of Fame? I did this. I did this already. Yeah, a little decoration here. This is like your little office. That's kind of cool. It gives you this quiz, but the quiz is so hard. Like, it asks you all these random questions about the waifus that if you're brand new, you have no idea what they're asking. But that is that. My name is FG3000. I thank you a ton for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.